Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Now, if you remember from the last episode, we finished all the Crash Bandicoot set of levels right here. So now we move on to... It's Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex strikes back. So, yep, we start this one now. So without any further delay, let's jump straight into it. <laughs> Crystals, of course. No. But Doctor Cortex, to reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining twenty-five slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any Earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Crash! Crash! Dad! My battery is fried! Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. So here we go. We begin Crash Bandicoot 2, and yep, as you saw, Cortex is after crystals. So, yep, we have new moves in this game. We can crouch, and we can crawl. And uh, if you hold crouch and jump, he actually jumps higher. And if while you're running and you press crouch, he slides. And if you jump after he slides... You jump forward and you jump extra high. So, it's a very handy maneuver for this game. So, I am much better at Crash 2 than I am at Crash 1. If you see my Crash 1 playthrough in the last episode, or the last few episodes, then you'll see that, yeah, those are not very fun. So, we'll just keep going forward and get this armadillo mighty. <laughs> but, yep, as soon as you get there, that's the end of the stage for some bizarre reason. And there'll be a cutscene triggered as well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. So, yep, Cortex apparently wants you to find crystals, but, yeah, something's very suspicious about it, but we'll jump straight into Turtle Woods. Right, so this is Turtle Woods. So, I'm going to break these boxes. Well, I, I would like to collect some of those. Right, uh, but, yeah, I'm going to offer Cortex a Wumper Fruit. I said, bring me the crystals. Now, get back in there. All right, so he does a well wumper for it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to take it. Is, is it this Is it this one at the top here? Um, I think it's that one at the top. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm sure it's that, that silver gem right there. That silver gem. I, I have to go back out to make sure that's correct. Like, is it that one? Is it, is it that one, Cortex? That has to be it, surely. That one at the top. No, 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 Crash. To save the world, I need crystals. Crystals! 
One more time. They look like this. Crystals crash. Go back through one of those doors and bring me crystals. Oh, so it's this blue one. Right. Okay, the blue one. Right. Okay. So... I've got to go get this blue one then. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Right, so it, it is blue, right? Surely, is it blue? I, I'm, I mean, he showed me it twice now. It's like, come on. Like, come on, bruh. Is that, isn't that it? Look up at the doorways. There is a big crystal shaped slot. Fill all five crystal slots in this warp room by retrieving one crystal from each of the five areas. Only after we have filled all of the slots in this room can we continue on our quest. This is the last time I remind you. Oh, is, is it this one in the middle? Like below the blue thing in the top? Oh! So it wasn't blue, it was purple and it's long. Okay, okay, I get you. I got it. I got it now. I got your cortex. I got your breath. Yeah, I've got it this time. Yep, I've definitely got it this time. Right. But yep, this is Turtle Woods. And um, yeah, you may have seen that message at the bottom there. It says like, be kind to the boxes. So basically what it means is um, you beat this level without touching any box. Well, well, you can touch them, but you just can't break them. So basically... Just rush towards the end. Oh, well, yeah, all the way to the end. So, you touch nothing. No boxes, nothing. So, yep, we'll keep going forward and get that. Armadillo, mighty. <laughs> okay. But you can see a big row of boxes here. How do you get over this without touching a box? See this box here? It's bouncy, so you can actually just bounce on that one. So it gets you all the way over. There used to be a hacks like in the original PlayStation 1 where you can like slide jump up to here. But um, I forgot to mention something as well. If you press... Oh, wait, I can't break the boxes. I can't break the boxes, can I? Yeah, I haven't brought the boxes, but yeah. If you jump and press body, if you press crouch, crash does a body slam. So, that's a very useful attack at a later state. That's the thing that Cortex is after. Okay, I got you now, Cortex. I got you now. I got you, bruh. Right. So now, we got to the end, and there's your blue gem. So... Now, because I've done all that, I am going to deliberately die. So, <laughs> the reason I've done that is because it sends me all the way to the back. So, I can get the boxes this time. So, yep. Let's just get the boxes this time. Right, then we come over here. And what we do... Like I said, we get the boxes. But like I said, there's other bonus areas too. So, I'm just going to proceed. Remember that body slam I mentioned to you earlier? Get a Kraku first. And you body slam right here. And it takes you to this bonus area. So, get rid of you and get rid of you. But yeah, what I'm going to do... Each level has a crystal, right? So there's 25 levels in total. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do five levels in each stage, in each episode. Because that just seems like the most convenient thing to do. So get that and break these boxes. Now with this, these sausages, you need to slide jump as quick as you can. Because when they go down, you cannot reach up these ledges. So you need to slide jump as soon as you land on them. Right, so break these boxes and rush over here, over you. Now, what is this exclamation box here? It's green. There's a new feature in this game called Nitro Crates. Basically what those are, there's these green boxes that say Nitro on them. 
and um, they basically explode as you touch them. Doesn't matter whether you just run into it, whether you spin into it, or jump into it. Like, they will explode on impact. So, they are not fun. So, let's go get this bonus stage and get all the Wampa Fruits, the extra guys. This game's actually quite friendly when it comes to extra guys, so... We got the five that we need here. So we've got 20 more boxes to get after this. Right. Get that, and you. Right. Get the armadillo. And... Yep, basically... Pretty much close to the end, too, so... But then again, you've already seen that when you see my, my last run through of this. And we got Aku Aku as a double thingy. So, yep. Uh, I'm going to check, see if I can get that right. Yep. I can indeed. And then we get this mole and that mole and this one here. Bounce back up. And then we break that box because that's the last one. And that will give you the silver one at the end. Well, the, one of the clear ones, not, not silver. Did I just bounce on that mole? <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff. Right. And it should give me the gem. There we go. Sweet. Now, we rip this level. Never have to do it again. So, hopefully Cortex is proud of me this time. I got the right thing this time, surely? I mean, I got all three of them, if that counts for anything. There's Crystal. This is the, the white gem. And this is the, the blue one that came out of his ear. And then Crash's little swag dance. <laughs> so, is Cortex proud of me? Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. The crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Are you there, Crash? 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 Are you there, Crash? Are you there, Crash? So, yep, strange things are happening in this world, so, yep, let's go to Snow Go. Now, this does have a red gem that you collect in it, but um, that gets unlocked at a very later stage. So, you can beat this 100%. You just, all right, that's the nitro crate I was talking to you about. It blows up on impact, so. Well, I mean, not on impact, but it blows up as soon as you touch them, so. Glad I got the Aku Aku mask on here because that would have been bothersome to get past. Alright, now like I said, do not touch those Nitro crates because they blow up as soon as you touch them, so not a good thing at all. Right, there's the first checkpoint. And there's Penguin. Hey, bruh. Now, the icicles could be bad as well, so... Well, not those ones, anyway. Wait until this crumbles down. What, buddy? There you go. Oh, jeez. Whip, there you go. And that gained my seal of approval. Right. As you can see, that's the red gem up there. But like I said, you can't do anything because it's... You can only access that in a different area, which I will show you it just a little tricky to explain it right now so right so we and then get the extra guy oh jeez i didn't mean to do that right this is what i was meant to do a slide jump there we go now i think that's all the boxes yes it is sweet stuff now we gotta get these get all these boxes Oh, jeez. I almost ran right off the side. Get the seal. And there's another Aku Aku. Oogala, indeed. Right. 
back here, we got this box, which destroys all the nitro boxes. So, nice thing indeed. And there's the crystal. So, yep, it was these that Cortex was after. Yeah, I'm, I may as well stop that now because yeah, yeah, I was being sarcastic. I actually didn't know that those were the ones you're supposed to collect. But anyway, um, I'm going to bounce up to here to get that box up there and get these. And especially that extra guy. Extra guys are very important in this game too. And that's all 74 gems. So... That's only partially completed, so... Yep. We will beat that eventually. You know, every time I hear that voice, I just think, I just think Brain from Pinky and the Brain. It's literally the same voice actor. <laughs> yeah, um, you didn't know what that was. That was, um, Brio. He basically doesn't like where Cortex is going with it. So he says like, oh, Cortex is actually doing bad things. So if you really want to save the world, you have to gather gems and not crystals. So, yep, he wants you to collect the gems, which I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, he wants you to collect the gems while Cortex wants you to collect the crystals. Because Cortex is actually the guy secretly doing evil. But Crash doesn't know that. So yeah, um, I'm rushing here because there's a timer as soon as you get to this part of the level. The reason this timer is there is because you need to get to the end as soon as possible. Because at the end, there's a gem that you have to get. So yeah, I'm doing this gem now because this gem's bothersome to do later. Yeah, I'll get that gem. No, the crystal later. Now you can see how this one would be tricky to get. Oh jeez, I didn't mean to run into you. Right, and now... I should have enough time to grab this gem at the end. There we go. Now I'm going to come back into this level and do it normally. Right, we're back in this level, so... And that's why I was saying how good the slide jump is in this game. You can literally just jump over, like, stuff like that. This game expects you to basically jump on that little platform and over the ravine, but... Fortunately, the slide jump's a thing in this game. Which is why it's this such a superior Crash game compared to Crash 1. So, let's just proceed forward. Oh, don't go in that whirlpool. Okay, um, let me come here. There's a checkpoint. Well, not a checkpoint, but this is the bonus thingy. And, as per usual, we just do this to get the... I'm going to wait on that blowing up before I get anywhere past it. There we go. There's the crouch feature. So, come back down here. And then we bouncy, bouncy, bouncy on the blocks. Extra guy. And more Wumper Fruits. 74 boxes in this level, man. 
right now we're gonna proceed forward so there's the blue gem path and um you would never have been able to access this if you hadn't unlocked it so oh i have to carefully jump here here we go i'm gonna wait on that coming back so jump onto it jump on that hippo and oh or oh, screwed that up yeah th these are get these get tricky man so basically just take your time and all right there's a reason i'm not going up there just yet because there's actually a a exclamation box over there which is used to oh So you come back here and boxes are now, well, most of them are now revealed. So you can use the turbo to, if you go towards the ramp, turbo, I use an A in my case because I'm using an Xbox Series X controller. And, um, yep, at the end of this, you should get this. That blows all the boxes up. Well, all the nitro crates up, I should say. And then where this is going to take you, this is going to take you back here. Now, be careful and not die here because... There's no... You didn't... I did not get a checkpoint. I mean, you can die now, but I mean, we don't want to die, but you can die now because we had a checkpoint. So I don't have to do that whole section there again. So we're going to come here and... Up this ramp and get this box. So there's the last four boxes over there, so... Just destroy everything. Everything in Crash's path. Right. And now, we kill you. And get this gem. I did pick up the crystal, right? Yeah, I did. It's all good. It's all great. Woo! That was a fun stage indeed. So that was Hang 8. The levels do get trickier as you go along, but as you go along, I should say, but there we go. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Yep, he's just saying like, oh, I'll and everything. He's just checking in. So, yep, we enter the pits. Which does not sound like a fun place at all. I mean, it's an alright place, I guess. I mean, it's more or less the same as, like, the first level, so... Not a whole lot of bother right there. Boogala! Now we've got invincible power-up. Run through this void. Can run through the TNT crates as well, which is awesome. It seems like I'm just cheesing it at this point, but you know, if they add this, if they add this into the game, it's it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. I could cheese this game if I like. Like right, run through this void. But unfortunately, it's one of those that you have to backtrack and get the other route as well. Right. Right. Just making sure I go the right... Oh, just managed to get those before they got me. Right, because I'm going to have to go back, can't I? Because I need to get the other side. So you can spin those guys. And, um... I think I do need to go back. Yep. Lovely. I'm trying to remember where that box was. Um... Don't quite remember that one actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back, so I have to take my sweet time. Yeah, um, this will take me a while. 
probably speed up so that I don't keep you waiting. Right, here we go. Now we can go and do the other side. See you on the other side. Right, so... There's armadillos down here, so... Yep. Oh, there's a checkpoint here, though, which is nice, I suppose. There's a total. <laughs> a total. Okay, there's the exclamation box that I needed. I think that's the one that I need to, to find because that was from the other side. So, the crystal's there, too. So, we destroy this, and... The only thing is, I don't even remember... I don't even remember what... How many boxes were back here? So, wait. And I think it's here. Yep. One extra guy, two extra guy. So, yeah, not a, not a whole lot, I don't think. I think those were the only ones there, so... We're all good for now. Is there a checkpoint there? Yeah, there is. Sweet. So, we don't have to worry about ever backtracking again. Those are the only things I hate about the Crash games. It's the ones that you have to backtrack just to go the other route. Especially if you're going for 100%. Right, there's that. So, I'm going to stand here and jump and break these boxes. Break this one. Body slam right on it. Right, I'm just going to wait on that one blowing up so I can get back here. Right. Now we break these ones, and... And I think body slam here. Break all these ones, and there should be a... Yep. Get that one, and... Right. When we come back here, and then we're going to get these two extra guys. And then there's just two boxes left here. Oh, jeez, I missed it. Ugh. What the heck, man? I was on top of it. Oh, how am I going to do this now? Yeah, I got it. It's all good. Right. Fortunately, beating these count as a checkpoint. So, at least in this version of the game anyway. And um, 51 out of 53 boxes. Yep. And there's the last two right there. Lost my Aku. Aku's because of that. This is what's annoying about the bonus stages, too. You... You have Aku Akus, and then if you rip in the bonus stages, you actually lose the Aku Akus, which is not fun. Right. Get all of you. And bounce on... Bouncy on this mushroom. Is this the end? Yep, this is the end of the stage. And that is everything in this level. Sweet. Then we've got one level left, which is Crash Dash. So let's go and do that now. Sliding can help you move faster. Oh, does it? Indeed. I think I already explained that to the viewers in the earlier in the episode, so. And yep, it's just like your traditional Crash Bandicoot levels, where you got the... And don't step on those mines either. Those actually, they don't harm you, but they slow you down when running away from this boulder, so not a good thing to do. So we just keep running away from it, and whoop. It makes you wonder, though, like, what's actually triggering these boulders just to run, like, towards you, man? I like the animation. Even Crash did that in the original PlayStation 2 as well. Not well, the original PlayStation 1, I should say. Like, um, that he looks backwards when the boulder's chasing him. That's actually a really nice touch that the game added. Oh, don't touch those. Oh, do oh boy. Don't ever touching those. I think this is where the boulder falls down. There's the crystal. Yeah, the boulder falls down here. There's the bonus. So we've got 20... No, 30 more boxes, I think. 
Now, have I got everything here? Just luckily to get that extra guy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Three, four, five. This also helps me time my commentary for this video. Yeah, there we go. And that is that is it. 31. That's how old I am now. <laughs> right. Now there's nine boxes left. Nine boxes. Oh, jeez. Right. Whoa. And we. Oh, dearie me. Oh, my goodness. I mistimed that jump. Dang it all. And that's why I said about the mines. The mines slow you down. Ah, I did the same flipping mistake. There we go. I think I got it that time. Now there's still quite a number of bot. Oh, screw that. I think the boulders count is breaking it. Yep, they do. They do. It's all good. It's all good. We're beating it. All is good. All is gracious. All is beautiful about this game. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Probably be a long episode, man. Right, now he's going to get that out. And get the gem. So we got all five crystals in this place. And now... Yep, it's now opened this thing here. You may remember Ripperoo. He was actually in the last game. He was the second boss. So, yep. We're going to go fight him now. Like, he's a professor now, so... As you can see, bless him, he's got a mustache and everything. <laughs> Oh, Ripperoo's a great character. I, I love Ripperoo. And he's got a he's still wearing a straight jacket. <laughs> so he's not completely sane. So the trick to this boss fight um, is that you want to stand where I am so that he doesn't blow the, the things up nearer to you. So he fills it up. Then he's going to blow them up. So when he's stunned like that, go and spin him. That is the aim of the of this level, of this boss fight, I should say. Oh, stand here. There you go. And he'll do the same thing again with the nitros. So notice how the TNT crates have like a timer on it, while the nitros, they don't. Because they blow up as soon as you touch it like that. Then you just go and spin them. Alright, Ripper, where are you going to go now? Ripperoo. There we go. Then lastly, he's going to do the nitro crates. And he's going to blow up. And rip Ripperoo. <laughs> Had his heat stuck in the ground there. <laughs> oh, bless him. Oh, I love Ripperoo. He's, he's one of my favorite baddies in this game. In this franchise. But yeah, that's that well done. So, yep, that's everything in this place. So, what you do is that you stand here and then you go up to the next platform. But we're going to do that in the next world. Or in the next episode, I should say. Yep. I, yeah, this was a different file from a different playthrough I did before. But yeah, I'm going to save it. Yeah, save it about here. So it's all good. So, yep. I guess that will conclude this episode. So, thank you so much for watching. And as per usual, if you liked what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or Brad produce on this channel. I've been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.